бидний өвдөөсийн 100 100 жил одоо өвлөж амдигнэн хайрлаж бидэнд одоо ирээд үр хөөгтүүдэн өвлөж өвж ирсэн ийм асар том соёл байдаг. Миний одоо мэдээ бас орсон цагаас хойш өсөж өмдөөсөн мэдээ орсон цагаас хойш одоо өлгөр дуурайл болгож одоо чулуун тоглоо мангурж ингэж одоо өссөн хүний хувьд энэ мал ажих хоогоос хөндөрнө гэдэг бол бас яаж бодсон миний бодлоо юу нэг хаанд бол одоо багтахгүй ийм бол одоо нөхцөл байдал байт юм билээ миний одоо өссөн орчин тийм ээ одоо мэдээ орсон цагаас хойш л одоо мэддэг мэдэж ирсэн хийж ирсэн бүтээж ирсэн тэр бүх ажлууд маань одоо энэ мал ажих байлаа малчин одоо хүн хөөгтэй яаж хайрж энэрэлдэг үү а одоо бид нар чинь тэр хүн шигэл мал хайрж яа шамгаал шүү дээ одоо хөөгт малчин хөөгтүүд чи одоо бид нар ч хөөгтүүд ээ төлөгдөж чуу ээ гал цогын тайрагдчих байгаа гэдэг шиг малчин бид нар чинь бас л нөгөө төлөж усгүй яваад өх вэ бас л хаа явна бас л нөгөө төлөж хайрж энэрэлж үүж л бид нар ч одоо малтай малчин хүн хэл ам өрөө цугаан байхгүй мал хүнгүй таваран сайхал байсан. OT mine. Oyotolgoy mine is a copper mine, copper gold mine, and it's huge mining operation with a huge footprint. It's going to be number 2 and number 3 in size in the world when it is in full operation. OT Watch was established in 2009 as soon as the Oyotolgoy investment agreement was signed. As soon as the organization was established, naturally we came here with a fact-finding mission, and then we found out that not only water was a concern here, that the local community, the herding community were resettled and there were very unfair compensation packages and that people were being hurt inside the mine license area that land used to be the herders prime spring pasture land that's where they used to take their baby animals each spring right after they were born it was a reliable area where they could get enough grass for those baby animals that was a location they could rely on every year and now that's gone бас амжиргаатай байхад бол хэцүү тэгэхээр одоо доктор бид яг хойв өрх миний хойд бол энэ уурхаа миний одоо энэ мал ажих хойгаар амжиргаан залгуулах байх байх ирээдүй хойч үе бид би одоо өр хөөгтүүдтэй мал ажих хойгаан өвлүүлж үлдээ гэсэн ийм бүхэл бүтэн боломжуудыг бол бүрэн хаасан ийм хэмжээний нөлөөлөлтийг бол надад бий болгосон. За оюу толгой ер нь орж ирснээс хойш их юм бол одоо тэгэл бид нар одоо тоос төрөн бэлчээр шахагдаал одоо усвал маш хавардаж байгаа шүү. Хаа цайгүй л одоо мачин хүмүүс дандаа л ус овардаж ер нь Усан дээр сэн ч болж тэгэл хэл ам хариу зүгэн бус бэлчээрэн дээр сэн болж одоо малчи чоорондоо их маргалдаж бас их хэцүү болж байгаа шүү. Бэлчээр шахагдна солигч ороо уур амьсгал бол эрсэл өөрчлөгдсөн доо оюутлага орж ирснээс хойш бол ирнэ. The International Finance Corporation have an accountability office called the Compliance Advisor Ombudsman and that's who the herders turn to they filed a complaint to them that office the CAO facilitated a negotiation process between the herders the mining company and the local government accountability council had offered to do a training in the field for herders how to prepare for negotiations with a huge company like Rio Tinto and we happily welcomed that and that's when we started working together the most important support that accountability council provided was to help the company and the herders communicate at the time the relationship was so bad that they will just scream back with the assistance of accountability council they overcame that and started communicating This was a long process to reach an agreement. First of all, for the company to recognize the need for a remedy. That was a very long process that involved independent experts. 
very long discussion on the scopes of work where we really needed technical expertise, we needed legal expertise. I went to Mongolia. I moved there for a couple of months in the winter of 2017 to be able to provide more on the ground close support and to accompany the herders through those final stages. We helped the herders to consult with the whole herder community to develop a set of demands, think together about what they hope to achieve through this negotiation process. And that led straight into the final negotiation of those agreements. in accountability in telling the livelihoods of local herders are really at risk, and the agreements are trying to provide alternatives for herders new livelihood opportunities that herders can move into if they wish, and ways to make herding in the Gobi more sustainable. In terms of alternative livelihoods, we've already started to see some of the benefits of the agreements. The mining company is providing university scholarships to herder children. They have also offered vocational training programs in welding, an electrician training program. The mine is also offering grants for startup businesses. One group of herder women was able to use the skills they learned in an OT-run sewing training course, plus a grant they received from the company to start up their own cooperative business. The agreements are also trying to make herding more economically viable in the Gobi. Many of the commitments around that still have to be implemented. The goal is to develop ways to provide herders better access to markets for their animal products. Step one was to establish an animal laboratory that can be used to test meat products and animals. In the future, they're also planning to develop a herder market and a slaughter line, again for the same purpose, to try to provide better access to markets for livestock products. These are going to be really ambitious and challenging parts of the agreements. <laughs> Hamburg's <laughs> swimming 